All right, it's your morning mess. It's time for the staycation set up. We have Catherine on the line. She thinks her boyfriend Angel might be cheating after hearing another girl's voice over their Bluetooth speaker. So, Catherine, I explain what this means. So the other night I was getting ready to go to dinner with my boyfriend Angel, and mm -hmm. it's our one-year anniversary dinner. As I'm getting ready, you know, he hops in the shower, right? And he connected his phone to our Bluetooth speaker so he could play music while, he, you know, he got ready to go out. Okay. So, you know, nothing was out of the ordinary until he left the room. I think he forgot that his phone was still connected to the Bluetooth speaker in our room because all of a sudden I hear a girl's voice playing on the speaker. And, like, it didn't sound like, like he was scrolling and looking through videos, like a TikTok or whatever. Like, it sounded like it was a, a voice memo, like, specifically to him. What did it say? Was there anything specific it said? Uh, when, when are you going to make time for me? I want to see you. I miss you. Oh, so it did say something directly to him. Yeah, basically. And, you know, because his phone was connected in the room, I think he thought that the sound wasn't working. So, you know, he couldn't hear it because it was going through the speakers because I can hear the volume going up. So then, you know, I guess he gave up listening to it because he couldn't hear it. So I walked into the living room. I could see him messing with his phone, like, and all of that. But, you know, he stopped when I came in. And I asked him who he was talking to because I told him, I, like, I heard a girl's voice on the speaker. Like, who was that? What was his excuse? He said it was a video on Instagram. But then, and then I'm like, I want to see it. He was like, oh, I already refreshed my page or whatever, so you can't see it. I'm like, okay. So, like, he wouldn't show me, but I know whatever I heard was for him. He was trying to act like it was a video. Like, he would not admit that it was somebody talking directly to him. So I let it go, mm -hmm. you know, so that we could enjoy our anniversary dinner. I, I was still in the back of my mind. But it was bothering me the whole time, and I and I really couldn't enjoy myself. And like even now, it's still bothering me. And I I don't know. I need to know who that was. Okay. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> well, what we'll do for you, Catherine, is we're gonna call your man Angel up, do the staycation setup. It's real simple. We call him up, tell him he's won this free romantic hotel stay, and then Sienna, you ask him the question. I'm gonna ask him the question: Who he would like to bring on the free romantic stay, and we're gonna see if he says your name or not. Okay. Um, everyone pull up the popcorn. We're going to find out how faithful Angel has been. Here we go, y'all. Hello? Hello, may I speak to Angel? Yeah, this is Angel. Who's this? Hi, Angel. My name is Selena. I'm calling with the Aurora Hotel. I have some awesome news for you. You're the winner of our free romantic giveaway for two. Oh, uh, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm not trying to sign up for nothing. Are you sure? What if I told you we'll put you in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package and you don't have to sign up for anything? We actually picked your name. I'm going to pass on this. I just don't have the money for this right now. Yeah, so we don't need any money from you. It's a complimentary stay. All we ask in return is for an honest Google or Yelp review. That's it. What do you mean that's it? I just come there, I say I give a review. Yeah, and in return, we'll give you that free stay of everything I mentioned earlier. Plus, you get to bring a guest so you can have a romantic getaway with a special person in your life. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can move forward, yep. Perfect. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited to set this up for you. So something fun we do here at the Aurora Hotel is we actually address a sweet or saucy note to the guest you will be bringing. So I can give you a second to think about that. And whenever you're ready, I'll be here to write it down for you. You said sweet or saucy? Yeah, so sweet note is more kind and saucy note, it's more sexy for, for your guests that you'll be bringing. Yeah, okay, we could do saucy. If this is like a romantic place getaway thing, and it's, yeah, free, I'm, I'm in. I, I'll do a saucy note. All right, got to take advantage of it, right? Do you have anything in mind? Uh, yeah, you could write down, um, write down, I'll let you launch my pocket rocket. Oh, okay, I'm sure your guest is a very lucky person for whatever that means. I really like that saucy note. You'll love it. All right, let me go ahead and write this down for you, Angel. And now that I have that written down, the most important question here is who would you like to bring on this free romantic stay? Oh, yeah, that's, the name is Michelle Okay. Is that the voice memo? Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, Angel, really quick, we legally got to let you know you're actually live on the radio with our show called The Morning Mess, and it's uh, your girl, Catherine, on with us, who suspected Whoa. you were, yeah. Who the fuck is Michelle, huh? Because the last time I what? checked, we just celebrated our one-year anniversary. Calm down for a second. Don't you tell me to calm down? I could explain, okay? I promise I can explain. Whatever you just heard, like, it's not what you think. Like, it sounds different than what it is. This is not... Tell me what it is. Enlighten me. 
She's a friend. No. This is just a friend. A friend. They can't wait to see you, huh? Is that the, that's the same from the voice memo? I bet it is. You don't have to worry about this, okay? She isn't anybody you have to worry about. I'll let you launch my pocket rocket. I'm not supposed to worry about that. What the f*** is wrong with you? Hello? <laughs> He yeah. doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know what he's stuck. How stuck are you, bro? But if the hotel is free, it was free. Hey, Angel, no, listen. Don't do this, man. I'm going to give you some Stop. advice. Angel, just admit that you were cheating. Ask for forgiveness, and we have counselors on standby if you do want to try to save this relationship. Dude, I don't even know right now. My head is spinning right now. I don't know what to say. This whole thing just threw you me don't off. Know what like... to say. Save the f truth, Angel, for once in your life. Ooh, Wait, can we have a real conversation? Can we hang up these phones and off the radio and talk in private, a real conversation? Like, this is public, Honestly, right? if you have no explanation, I have nothing more to say to you. Offline, online, on the radio, whatever. It's over. Wow. You just fucking blindsided me. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're the victim. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hang up, dog. Yeah. Uh, Angel, you still there? Yeah. You just want to make sure it's like a hang up on you. Hold on. I, I couldn't anymore, Catherine. Obviously, he sucks. Yeah. He had no explanation for it. I, I already knew that anything else he said was going to be a lie, and I don't need to hear it. Right. Mm -hmm. well, well, we do have counseling services on standby if you'd like to take them. I mean, I don't. Nah, it doesn't look like she's yeah, interested. Okay. You don't have to. It's just an yeah. offer. Best way, way, way to get over somebody is to get under somebody, Catherine. So I'm sure there's that one person that you've been trying to be good and not cheat on your man with. It's time to call that person. Give them a shot. Hello, yes. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Absolutely. Hold on, I'm going to give you my number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got to ask real quick, though, before I give you my number. What sign are you? Oh, oh here we go. Because it matters. Capricorn. Capricorn, okay, then. Yeah. You know what that means. You know what that means. You know. <laughs> no, you know. 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your favorite prank call. It's time for Nacho's Revenge with the Morning Mess. Can we all say good morning to Sabrina? Sam. Good morning, Sabrina. Hey, you. Good morning, guys. Morning. So we hear you need some revenge on your friend Eric. What'd your amigo do? Oh my gosh, all right. So my friend Eric decided to bring a person that he met on Tinder out of all places to our boat outing last weekend. We have a friend of ours whose family lets us take their boat out and it's one of the things that we always enjoy doing as a group. Okay. Well, our friend Eric, let's just say, uh, well, screw it. Okay, Eric's a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Straight into the point. Every friend group has one. Uh, ours is JD. What? <laughs> it's called balance. <laughs> it's kind of like borderline disgusting. It's a different girl every single time. And he's on every dating app imaginable. Mm -hmm. And I think he's pretty much dated our entire area, maybe the entire <laughs> state. I don't mm -hmm. know. Could be. Oh, wow. Is it you're upset about this because you're tired of bringing in just newbies and you just wanted a close knit of just your friends? Is that the, the, the problem? Mind your business. Well, yeah, because like <laughs> since it's not our boat, it's our friend Karen. So we only ever invite like just our group. We don't really bring outsiders onto it. Got you. And Eric just brought this girl. He legit met the night before on Tinder. <laughs> and I don't think Tinder should be, I don't know, where you're meeting people. It's not going to be the love of your life on there. Yeah, JD. Wow. Wait, I'm not on Tinder. <laughs> Which one are you on? I'm not on anything. What? I don't do dating apps. Oh, yet. okay. My bad. Grinder. I, no. You know, I flash back to my I'm old like show. I'm offended when you said that if I'm on Tinder, man. With all due respect, of course. So told this girl that he brought on the Tinder date. You're upset at him because it's just supposed to be you and your friends. How was she as a person? Was she at least nice or you didn't care for her? Um, I didn't really care for her just because she was so sloppy and she was all over him. She was drinking and eating all of our, you know, snacks and alcohol. Didn't bring anything with her. Was sitting on Eric's lap throughout the whole entire day. Yeah. Not really acknowledging anyone else. I like nice. Eric. Were they making <laughs> out? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. Like, that's not what I have a problem with, but it's, it's so weird. But the main reason I'm calling is because she slapped my ass 
for no reason. <laughs> then oh. she spilled a vodka cranberry all over the boat seat and mm. didn't even say anything, apologize, help to clean it up, fix it, or anything. Got and you. Like, That's sticky, it's red, the boat yeah. is, is stained, okay? So she's just, a, she was a horrible guest. I don't blame her. I blame Eric because she just wanted to have a good time on the right. boat, probably thinking like, oh, this will be fun. But Eric knows not to do that. Yeah. I'll give him credit. You know, he did offer to help pay if the boat needed anything real fixing. But I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe getting back at him for inviting this random girl who ruined our entire first boat trip of the year. <laughs> the <group. laughs> yeah. What do you think for the prank call? So we went to the marina before we went out. We had to get some gas for the boat. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that Nacho could be one of the owners from the marina that we stopped at. Mm -hmm. Said that the random Tinder girl is his daughter. And like, you know, maybe she was supposed to be working at the store that day. And she <laughs> did go get drunk on a boat. And like, now it's, oh my God, Eric is the demon here. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so you want me to call your friend like I'm her dad? Oh, yeah, you could definitely be her daddy. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, I don't know the last time someone called me daddy. I like that. You guys ready? Let's do yep. it. Hello? Good morning. This is Nacho Chavez. It's Nacho with two O's with the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Marina boat store. How are you today, sir? Um, I'm good. I'm, good. Wait, I'm sorry. Who is this? I own the marina where you and your friends had the boat outing last week. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, What's going on? What's up? Well, apparently the gas tank wasn't the only thing that you were trying to fill up last week. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the woman you brought or whatever was sitting on your lap like you were Santa Claus. <laughs> Sir, that was my daughter. That was that was my mija. <laughs> Wait, that was really your... Okay. Yes. Um, and how did you get my number? Do you, do you need... Like, what do you... Well, I on? simply just went through her phone. I saw she had some app called Tinder's. Or something like that. I don't know. And then I, I saw the message between her and your ugly face. So I put two and two Whoa. together, which is four. Huh? You're reading my, her message? Yes. Like, I'm her dad. A little, uh, a little evasion of privacy or anything. And your point is? And I don't like my personal messages being read by people that they weren't intended for. So you want to be my daddy all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't want you around my baby girls anymore. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not going to be a problem because I'm not trying to marry your daughter, sir. Oh, is that right? So what did you have in mind then? Let's just be honest. Man to man. All right. All right. Yeah, sure. I mean, we met on an app, so I don't really, you know, it wasn't meant to be any serious. We just wanted to hang for the day. Oh, okay. So my daughter is just some kind of fish that you consider a catch and release? Catch and release? Yeah. What are you talking about? You hooked her in. Use her to show off to your friends and drown her back into the ocean. Even though fish don't drown in water. No. Yes. What did I quote unquote catch and release with your daughter? Plus, yes, she you was were. Like a mature grown up adult. And I wasn't planning to go out with your daughter again anyway. And this very much would have Is that right? Yeah. Like I said, she's just someone who's just hanging up for a day so I could like impress her because I had friends with a boat. And that's why you okay. talk to people on Tinder. Wait, you can date multiple people on these websites? Yeah, it's an app. That's the whole point. Oh, okay. I'll get back to you being a total d about my daughter here in a second. But really, okay. So, do you think you can set me up like a little profile on these tenders? I'm single. I haven't been with her mama in quite a while. She left me for a football player. Are you in your mind? No. Absolutely. So, is your mom on tenders? Because I'm sure she could sing my boat if you know what I'm talking about. This is weird, man. Why? Like, don't. Why am I weird? Like that. All right. I don't care whose parents you are or what boat company you think you are in charge of or marina i will find you and beat your okay <laughs> just like your friends wanted to beat your bringing that random girl <laughs> which is the reason why we're pranking you live on the radio right now you're live with the morning mess you're live on the radio you want to even shout outs are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah are you serious yeah my god you're live on the radio sabrina put me up to this prank call she's on the line with us right now we really had to get you back for bringing that freaking random annoying <laughs> chick on the boat <laughs> <laughs> tell us how you really feel <laughs>